We've added two more peaks at the front, so now it is draining properly off the top. And you'll notice this, we have a solar panel there, charging a battery inside. A raspberry bush, we got the fiddleheads. Let's go inside the greenhouse. The solar panel is charging a car battery. And that car battery is running a pump now in our DIY or DIY aquaponic setup. Now it's cold out here, so we could only put goldfish in here if we were going to really put goldfish or any fish in here. Sorry, but what we have here is a pump up to this top candy dish, which is free, and it's such good quality it actually seals because you can see it's overfilling so it's forced out this hole here along these bamboo stringers here and into the moss and then into this roofing pebble level and then into this crushed coral so the crushed coral will provide calcium and, and minerals for the uh, crayfish shells and we're gonna get some goldfish I think first to test it for a week or two in the cold and then we'll upgrade to the crayfish once the weather gets better. Now I've experimented with this black return tube here and I might make more of them because this is an IV tube. I have a whole bunch of these I got from a medical guy and uh, I could line the roof with this black tubing with the return water in the summer or the winter and in the winter time it would probably heat it up quite well. In the summer I don't think we'd need it but uh, definitely have some insulation now, some styrofoam on outside edges, so that that's insulating the tub to a certain extent. Now ultimately we'd have two Oscars or three Oscars in here and then a whole bunch of crayfish in the bottom segregated area growing to eat. And we could put baby crayfish into the top clear tub where we can check the water quality and the color of the water as it's being pumped out of the bottom and then before the filter it's a holding tank basically. So. Tomatoes are doing pretty good. Not much sun lately, so we put some glass over that so when the sun does come, those little sprouts under there, which is spinach and asparagus. And then these sprouts are coming up quite well. We have a weeding to do, but we just put compost on here, so we have some carrots coming up here. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that, but just a couple of carrot starts. Right there, actually. And radishes and uh, cucumbers come up over there. There's our blueberry bush, and we have our strawberry plants up here, and our seedlings starting out there. Now, one thing is there is some venting for the summer because it will get hot in here. But it was 85 today, or 80 degrees, uh, in the sun while it was out. So definitely have to work on cooling the place or we'll have all these plants wilting for sure. And we've got our pathway a little bit more defined now too.